Welcome back to Wardcast, guys. Hope y'all doing well out there. I'm your host, Ward. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the latest insane social media message that was put out by enemy of America, Donald Trump, claiming that he will be arrested by the Manhattan authorities in uh, uh, Alvin Bragg's County over there in New York on next Tuesday. So I'm making this video on the 18th of March on Saturday, Saturday night, and you guys will see it on Sunday. But he says he'll be arrested by the authorities in New York on the 21st on Tuesday. Okay, so we're going to go through the legally ignorant message that was put out by, by Jackass Trump here. I'm going to explain why he's wrong on multiple factors. And we don't even know if there's actually going to be any arrest. But in this case, Trump may be correct. He claims that he got this information from a leak from the corrupt DA's office uh, in New York, in Manhattan. But on March 10th, we did find out that the grand jury had invited Trump, subpoenaed him, to basically show up in front of the grand jury and testify. And that may be, and sometimes it is, uh, the first step before somebody is actually indicted. But there have been cases where people have been subpoenaed, but they were not indicted because the grand jury did not think that there was enough evidence to indict. So it's not it's not definite that just because you're um, subpoenaed and you don't show up, that doesn't mean that you're automatically going to be indicted. So there is no 100% guarantee that he will be indicted, but it can happen. So this is one time where Trump may actually be right about one of his predictions. He may actually be arrested uh, uh, by the DA's office, or at least indicted by the DA's office. And then if he doesn't show up, he might be arrested at his house. Um, but that's, you know, remains to be seen. But first, let's go over the ridiculous claims that he made here and the call to arms that he said in the uh, end of his uh, truth on Truth Social, which is ironic because everything he says on Truth Social is basically a lie. Almost everything he says is basically a lie. Quote, the far and away leading Republican candidate and former president of the United States of America will be arrested on Tuesday of next week. Trump wrote on his social media site, Truth Social, early Saturday morning. So this morning, uh, quote, protest, take our nation back, exclamation mark, end quote. We just can't allow this anymore. They're killing our nation as we sit back and watch. We must save America Protest, protest, protest. So in the context of what he said in the past, specifically with January 6th, that is not a, a, a serene message, okay? In the context of the message itself, it doesn't say anything violent, but we know what kind of protest his supporters do. We saw it on January 6th. Now, to be fair, there were some people who stayed behind and did not break into the Capitol. I want to give credit to those people because they're not violent criminals. But a lot of his uh, supporters did break into the Capitol, fought with police officers, and did violence on Capitol grounds. And they've been arrested and charged and prosecuted, and many of them have gone to prison because of their misguided support for this traitor known as Donald Trump. So after Trump put this message out. Kevin McCarthy came out and a whole bunch of other Republicans came out to defend the traitor and said that this is a politically motivated prosecution, which is what Trump was hinting there as well, saying that we just can't allow this anymore. They're killing our nation as if prosecuting him for his criminal activities has anything to do with the nation. You don't speak for America. You're not America. You're the least American person in the history of America. What you are is a traitor to America. That's the only thing that you have to do with America, which is trying to betray it and betray the Constitution, and overthrow our democracy. So shut your mouth. You're not America. Okay, you're a crook and you deserve to go to prison. I want you to do your job and arrest that piece of trash right now. So everybody from the Republican Party who has spoken about this uh, claim by Trump that he will be arrested, they're wrong about everything they've said. Basically, all of them in unison have said that this is a political prosecution by Alvin Bragg, which is hilarious and shows that they know nothing about the law. And Alvin Bragg, Alvin Bragg is a very conservative prosecutor. This is the same Alvin Bragg that refused, refused to prosecute Donald Trump for this same scandal back in 2020 when, uh, whenever Cy Vance left, because Cy Vance's office was ready to prosecute Trump on this stuff. That's what they say. Some of the prosecutors that work for that office said that. And then Alvin Bragg came in and decided not to prosecute Trump back then. OK, so Alvin Bragg is a very conservative prosecutor. What does that mean? Well, in the context of prosecutors, conservative prosecutors are people who are very, very cautious about going to trial because they're they don't go to trial unless they have a very solid case. And liberal prosecutors are people who will go to trial and try to convince the jury, even if they don't have a solid case. That's not a good idea. I generally support people who are conservative prosecutors. That has nothing to do with politics. Conservative just means that you don't go to trial 
unless you have a solid case because you have to have enough evidence to convince a grand jury obviously to get an indictment but more than that you have to convince a trial jury okay so even if trump is indicted it's not a guarantee that he's going to be convicted because even in new york most people are fair and the voir dire process is going to be used by the trump lawyers to get the most politically neutral people on that jury so even if alvin bragg arrests and indicts trump there's no guarantee that there's going to be a conviction and from the evidence that i have seen so far related to this uh money scam with Stormy Daniels, there's not enough to get a conviction. But that's what I've seen, and that's old evidence. Clearly, Alvin Bragg has changed his mind from the 2020 times and decided to uh, indict Trump or, you know, argue in front of a grand jury to issue an indictment against Trump because he has seen new evidence most likely gotten from uh documents and testimony that has come forward after to the 2020 2021 times which was a different period so given the fact that alvin bragg is a conservative prosecutor he is not going to indict a person unless he's confident at least reasonably confident that he can make a very good case in front of a trial jury to get a conviction and to put the person in prison or punish him however the uh, judge sees fit the sentencing of course is not controlled by the prosecutors but the prosecutors will argue for the uh, the toughest sentence that they think is reasonable so most likely in this case they're going to ask the judge for prison time for trump if he's convicted okay but anyways that's a long ways away my point is all the republicans and trump are wrong in their assertion that this is some kind of political prosecution if it was then alvin brack would have indicted donald trump back in 2020 a lot of progressives and other trump haters lost their minds when alvin bragg refused to prosecute trump on this stormy daniels thing uh for example tyt's jen kruger said that alvin Alvin Bragg is a coward and said that there's no law and order in America, basically, and prosecutors are cowards in America and all this other nonsense. So at least if he's actually indicted, then the progressive left like TYT people can shut their mouths and stop attacking our justice system. Shut up. I'll see you in court. Because this will prove that nobody's above the law because a former president will have been indicted for at least state level crimes. And it is also most likely that Jack Smith will recommend indictments against Trump for at least the January 6th stuff, if not both January 6th and the Mar-a-Lago documents. Although I think the Mar-a-Lago documents is a much weaker case than the January 6th fake elector scam, for example, uh, which is a violation of 18 U.S. Code uh, 371, 1512, 1505, and also 2383, which is uh, aiding and abetting an insurrection. OK, so the January 6th stuff, in my opinion, is a much stronger legal case against Trump than the Mar-a-Lago stuff, which there are other parties that can be blamed like the lawyers. But with January 6th, we know that Trump was the one who was leading this effort to get himself reelected. So he's much more culpable uh, from a legal point of view than in the Mar-a-Lago case. But th that's a different issue. But the point is, there is law and order in America. Don't believe any of these jackass progressives who don't know anything about the law, who criticize our justice system. They are idiots and they're wrong. Um, I've learned not to be hopeful about anyone in a position <laughs> of power ever being held accountable in this country. But I also want to be proven wrong. So I hope you're right, I'm wrong. And if Alvin Bragg actually does indict Trump, it will prove them wrong. It'll prove TYT are a bunch of jackasses. You are a 100% pure jackass. Who don't know anything about the American justice system. Jane Kugler was a lawyer like 100 years ago. He doesn't know anything about the law. He's a moron. Prosecutors don't prosecute people just because they don't like them. Prosecutors only bring, bring charges when they're confident they can make them stick. Um, and I responded, Mr. President, you should have the leadership that you want, but understand the United States Justice Department functions on facts, evidence, and law, and those are not going to change. So you can have whatever leadership you want, but the department's position is not going to change. It is irresponsible for a prosecutor to bring charges if they don't think, honestly think, that they can get a conviction at trial because you're using the public's dollars every time you go to trial with a criminal. So Alvin Bragg wasn't going to indict Trump back in 2020 just because the progressive left was mad at him. OK, because he's an honest prosecutor. I don't always agree with prosecutors and their charging decisions. Sometimes I think they don't go hard enough. But nevertheless, the, he knows the evidence. He's seen the files and the documents and testimony that they have against Trump. And the prosecutors have discretion to determine whether they think they can make a good case at trial to a trial jury and get a conviction. So it doesn't matter what the public is saying. It doesn't matter what the news media is saying. It doesn't matter what anybody wants. What matters is the evidence, the law. 
and what a prosecutor thinks they can do with the, with the law and the evidence in front of a jury. But you still didn't answer my question. Where is your evidence? And clearly, Alvin Bragg has proven that he's not a political actor because lots of people wanted Trump prosecuted back in 2020. He didn't do it. He's gathered more information, more evidence, and now he's confident, apparently, if he's, if he's going to indict Trump. Finally, now in 2023, because of the new evidence that he's apparently found, he's ready to charge Trump. So it is actually possible that he will be arrested, but it will not be because of political reasons. It will be because he's a criminal, okay? And Alvin Bragg is confident that he can make that case to a jury and get a conviction. I weighed his rights against society's. My decision was ethical and legal. Prosecutors care about their win-loss ratio, okay? They don't want to bring cases that they're going to lose. Indicting somebody and taking somebody to trial who you can't prove is guilty, that's a waste of the taxpayer dollars, the court's time, and you're also going to get a bad mark on your record. And Trump is going to brag forever, at least in New York, that he's above the law, that he never did anything wrong in New York if they are not able to convict him. So Alvin Bragg has to be careful to think about that, and he knows that. Okay, he doesn't want to be the prosecutor who went to war against Trump and got his ass kicked. So if he's actually arrested, it's because Alvin Bragg has built a very convincing case and he's confident that he can get a conviction. But again, all of this hinges on Trump actually being right and actually being arrested, if not next week, whenever, whenever he's arrested. If he's arrested, it's because Alvin Bragg has built a considerable case against Trump that he is confident will be able to sway a jury to find Trump guilty of whatever violations of New York law that he's going to be charged with in this indictment. I'll make another video on this subject when and if Trump is charged next week. But um, that's basically all I got to say for now. Thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, hope you guys got something out of this video. And uh, make sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell for future videos. And if you have been watching my videos for a long time and you enjoy my content to find it educational, please consider supporting me on Patreon. You can join for as low as $1 a month. I post all the legal documents that I use in my videos on Patreon so you guys can go read the highlighted legal docs that I use in PDF form in case you want to verify things for yourself. That is a service that I provide for my patrons. Also, you can message me directly on Patreon and ask me any questions you have regarding the content or other related matters. I spend very little time on the YouTube comment section due to time restraints and the toxicity that is usually found in the comment section. So if you have something important you want to ask me, Patreon is the best place to get an answer. I answer all my patron messages. So you will definitely have a real conversation there on Patreon. That is something I give back to the people who support the show. The more support I have from my viewers, the less I have to work with my other jobs. I work two other jobs outside of YouTube right now to support myself. But the more support I have from you guys that appreciate my content, the more independent I can become financially and the more cases I will be able to cover on my channel. I want to do more content for you guys and cover more cases, do more detailed videos. So if you enjoy my content and you want me to do more videos for you guys, the best way to support the show is on Patreon. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching once again, and I'll see you guys in my next video. As always, peace.